That Wednesday began with a tidal wave of conferences announcing no fans at their tournaments. That news immediately dwarfed by Utah Jazz star Rudy Gobert testing positive for COVID-19. That now famous shot where he touched nearly every reporter's microphone, sparking a breakneck domino effect across the NBA. Soon every sport shut down. When Mark Cuban, somebody whispered to Mark Cuban and then you just read his lips, it was like, they're going to they're gonna stop the season. I knew that the season was over. We were in, in the hotel room watching the basketball game. That night and that next morning talking to Penny as the Tigers packed up and left Fort Worth, that was my start to all of this. Now, obviously, sports have returned since, but the pandemic never left. Even as Memphis opens spring football, COVID-19 continues to hit close to home. Brian Moss, publisher of the popular Memphis website Tigers Sports Report, contracted the virus in early February. On Super Bowl Sunday, he landed in the ICU. They immediately took me in. Within a couple hours, I had a heart attack. You know, it nearly killed me. One of the ICU doctors saw me the other day, and he's like, I'm glad you're doing a lot better. He goes, you know, I know this is not good bedside manners, but we didn't think you were going to make it. Moss has been moved from the ICU to a regular hospital room. He has tweeted updates throughout his recovery often concluding with the phrase 1% better each day. The mantra of former Tigers head coach Mike Norvell. And I told the doc and I'm like, hey, I was like, yeah, I knew someone that just said 1% better each day. That's all, you know, that's what I want to see. So I'm like, as long as I'm improving 1% each day, you know, I'm happy. Wednesday was a big step forward. Using his laptop at the hospital, Brian joined Ryan Silverfield's Zoom availability, complete with the viral picture of Liberty head coach Hugh Freeze coaching a game from a hospital bed. And we wish you a healthy and well recovery, and it's good to just hear your voice. You are going to have to change that background because now I'm smiling seeing that. I wanted to just see you smile, so that's why I put it there. I Thank appreciate you. it. It felt like I'm, I'm getting back to normal. And for a moment, you know, I'm not looking at the hospital room. I, I'm, you know, I felt like I was, you know, back at the office. Normalcy is slowly returning. Memphis football opens spring camp Sunday. Tigers basketball is back in Fort Worth, and this year they will actually play a conference tournament. But as yearning for a pre-pandemic world reaches a fever pitch, a word of caution. I just really want everyone to be careful because, you know, I don't want people to go through, you know, what I went through because it's not fun. Brian has a long road ahead, but he hopes to be home in a few weeks as long as he keeps getting 1% better each day. For Local 24 Sports, I'm Clayton Collier.